Hey everyone, welcome to the AWI Review. And uh, yeah, we're doing something a little bit different. Conflict 47. Holy crap, that's the thing that we're doing. So, um, real quick, uh, I know this is not my typical AWI shtick. Um, I realize that those of you out there are uh, probably wondering why we're going over a 20th century uh, game when it's got nothing to do with this channel, right? Well, I'm going to tell you why, because I am super hyped about this game. Um, it's basically everything that I love. It's got history, it's got alternate history, it's got science fiction, it's got zombies and vampires and werebears and all sorts of just really awesome, crazy, amazing stuff. And um, it's also compatible with bolt action. So it's basically bolt action on science fiction steroids. And, you know, it's just, I'm down, man. I am so down for this. So <clears throat> I got the starter set today, but this is not the only thing that I picked up today. Because I also got me one of these bad boys. I hope you can see that. It's an Allied M8 Grizzly Medium Assault Walker. Right? This, man. This is cool. So, as you can see, they're still in their plastic wrap. And, uh, I really want to open these. But, let's step back a second before we get into this. <sighs> So, I'm not going to tell you how I got all these things, because if you're in the United States and you're seeing this video on the day that's posted, chances are high that you don't have either of these things yet. If you're in the UK, you probably at least have the starter set. I'm assuming that you also probably have this already if you wanted it. But in the US, shipping standard from Warlord Games, you're talking about a week. Um, to 10 days for delivery and I'm bragging a little bit here and I apologize for that sorry not sorry uh, <laughs> I'm really excited um, so yeah 7 to 10 days for this to come in I managed to get a hold of this today which is Thursday they just started shipping these out I think on Tuesday maybe Monday so I don't think that a lot of people have this yet that are in the US. Now, I could be wrong. Maybe they absolutely have this. Maybe they got it the first second it went on uh, on Warlord Games website and they, you know, picked it up, you know, pre ordered it right away and uh, got it delivered to their house and, um, you know, priority shipped it or whatever. Okay. Cool. Good for you. Uh, <laughs> uh, I did not do that. Um, so, uh, yeah. I'm not going to tell you how I got these, but I got them. And I'm pretty excited. Um, also, taking a step back here, you might notice that this is a totally different setup than what you're used to seeing on this channel. Um, that's because I got this really nifty little contraption here that hooks up to the side of my new desk and it has about a two foot long snake-like wire that I can kink in any direction that I want and um, attach my phone to it and it has this pretty cool feature. Um, so yeah, this is hopefully going to be a new thing. Uh, it'll prevent um, wobbly cam camera syndrome, I think. Um, Although I'm, I'm not quite sure this is my first test with this thing and there's a fan blowing on it because it's about 98 degrees right now where I'm at and um, if I don't have the fan on I'm going to roast guys so uh, the fan's on right now so hopefully the wind isn't wobbling it too much. I'm trying not to bump the desk at all although I might bump it a little bit when I get into actually touching it and opening these up and everything. <clears throat> so I uh, hope you like the setup. So, Conflict 47, I've been following this game since it first announced 
with Warlord Games. Apparently, uh, it's been around with this company, uh, Clockwork Goblin, I believe is the name of them, um, who actually originated this whole concept and actually have this in 15 millimeter scale. Um, and then we're in talks for like over a year or two years or whatever with Warlord Games to kind of hammer out all the details and this is the result. Um, but I found out about this like six months ago and I've been following all of their, you know, videos on sculpting and uh, all of their various, um, you know, progress posts and things like that on the Facebook page and, and all sorts of things. So I've been really kind of paying attention to this. Um, now, the, one of the reasons why I like this um, is because it, 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 it's like a different take on Weird World War II. And that's kind of what this is. It's Weird World War II, okay? Uh, and it, essentially, it it's as if the the Second World War didn't end in 45. Uh, some crazy stuff happened with nuclear testing and a rift opened up and all this new technology derived from that and yada, yada, yada. I'm not going to spoil it get the set, get the book, check it out. It's pretty neat. Um, now, on to some of this stuff, okay? I'm gonna hold off on this to the end because I'm mega excited about this. And I'm going to, in true fashion, do an unboxing on this. So... <laughs> This is exciting. Okay. So this is my first time opening this up. I know that there are some other unboxing videos out there from people who have had this for a week now or so. I don't know how the heck they got it, but I'm not complaining because I know I got this before a lot of you guys. So I'm not gonna say much here. All right, so you can see right off the bat that uh, plastic's off of it. It contains, let's see here, the soft back of the Conflict 47 rulebook. I actually ordered the hard back too, and that came with a special figure that I can't wait to get. I'll get that sometime next week. It comes with one M5A2 Coyote Lightwalker, which is that awesome looking dude right there. Uh, comes with an M4A9 Sherman T medium tank. And that is that bad boy right there. See that little Tesla cannon on there? Yep. Back around. Comes with 20 US infantry. This is your standard American infantry from Bolt Action, Warlord Games. Five U.S. Heavy Infantry, which I will show you that in a second. Um, pin markers, six-sided, six six-sided dice, so six d6, and uh, six orders dice. Now, admittedly, I've never played bolt action. I'm a black powder guy, um, so this is going to be interesting. Uh, let's open it up and investigate what's in the box. Oh yeah, there it is. So, um, real quick, the uh, heavy infantry I was going to tell you about. That's what they look like right there. When they're completed. Let's put the box somewhere else for now. Oh man, look at this. It's bigger than some of my textbooks. So, here we go. This is the Bolt Action Paperback Edition. Man, that is nice. I'm going to have to delve into that. Look at that thing. That must be the Soviet Heavy Walker right there. That's cool. Alright, I'm not going to... I don't want to leave it on the camera for too long because I don't want to spoil everybody, but let's open up to a random page here. Check out some of the artwork. Oh, man. Soviets have some fun toys. There's that Tesla gun. There's the uh, there's the walker that comes in this box. 
I can't wait for this to release. That's going to be a lot of fun. All right, that's enough. Oh, yeah, these guys are cool, too. These uh, German Shrek Wolfen. Here's your heavy infantry getting ready to either ambush or they're hiding from that, uh, that German tank. All right, I don't want to spoil the book because you guys, you should probably get this anyway because it's awesome. So yeah, comes with this really nice paperback book, full color. Very excited to have that. I don't know what this is. It's been like a piece of this maybe. That's what that is. That came from there. Okay. So you get this sweet play sheet, little cheat sheet here. Nothing goes to waste, guys. Look at that. It even has a ruler on it. Two rulers. All right, Willard Games. You guys are just showing off now. All right. So there's that. Oh, man. All right. So it looks like that's your... That's your, uh, your light walker right there. And you can see here the legs are made of, of uh, metal and the body is pewter. And I'm pretty sure that's done so that it's kind of heavier on the bottom. And the top isn't heavy so that you can pose it. And look, it even comes with a base. Sweet. Here is your 20... U.S. Infantry. Uh, your standard bolt action infantry. Along with your two sprues of American weapons. Uh, figure out what that is in a second. Oh, you know what? That might be the Tesla gun. Here are your heavy infantry. Do not come with bases, but that's okay. I got extra bases. So, yeah. Note to self, guys, this does not come with bases for these. I have to get bases for them. Your D6 and your orders dice. Oh, ha! You know what? I need to just look before I speak, right? Because here are the bases for the metal infantry, the heavy infantry. That's what I get for opening my mouth before doing research. Should know better. Here's your, uh, your frame and the treads and all that for the uh, Sherman tank. And of course, it comes with the regular turret for the Sherman, which is pretty neat, as well as the crewman. This is basically the entire Sherman box set that you would get if you ordered the box set. So my suggestion is magnetize this, or at least, you know, don't glue it down, so that you can interchange these if you ever want to use this tank for bolt action. So you have that option in here, which is pretty cool. All right, so let's, uh, let's pop this open here. I left if I need my knife, but I don't. All right, let's check it out. Wow, that's cool. So yeah, resin gun, and then you get your metal power pack i guess that's what that is right goes on the back there and then here's your metal officer's hatch there if you wanted to keep it open or not you have that choice after all you have a crew I'll put that back in there for everything a place my wife says 
here are wow those are really neat I guess these are the uh, the markers the pin markers so really those are really sharp never seen those before I wonder if you could hook up LEDs to this and really kind of make them look cool oh look at that and you get decals ha I didn't say anything about decals that's pretty neat all right Willard games you win this is a damn fine set you got here okay now I'm gonna put these away and play later because we have other things to look at not one yet thinking we're just gonna be playing here we got we gotta look at stuff this is a unboxing video it's already 16 minutes in I'm wasting all your time all right let's just get this out of the way for now all right ladies and gents here it is this is what I've been waiting for Ever since I first saw this grizzly, I've wanted it. Okay, so back of the box, it has some information on the grizzly itself, uh, some quick uh, instructions on how to assemble it. Box art is pretty phenomenal. Okay. Here's what we're looking at here. And I'm dropping stuff. So the first thing that I'm surprised about is it looks to be hard plastic, or at least resin. It's resin, which is good as far as I'm concerned. There's some metal bits here and there. Oh, hey look, resin kit instructions. This is not a toy, guys. Not a toy. <laughs> Who are they kidding? Um, Ah, resin parts are best uh, briefly washed in warm water with a dab of washing up liquid to remove any oily remains of the release agent that resin kits need to come smoothly out of the mold. Though, so you guys hear that? Before assembling these kits, give them a rub down with a soft brush, brush and uh, a little bit of, of uh, I guess, dishwasher detergent or liquid soap uh, with some with some warm water um, before gluing, doing any gluing uh, otherwise yeah cool comes with your base it's it's great that they include bases in this I think and um, I want to pop this open right now or should I wait yeah, let's pop it open. That's why you guys are here. You're not here to hear me talk. You're here to look at the pretty things. Okay. Man. That's neat. So there's your machine guns the hatch and the back butt plate I guess is what that is there and then and I'm dropping stuff okay so we got oh yeah that's a little sticky so I can see why they say give it a rinse off. It makes a lot of sense now that I'm looking at it, feeling it. 
Um, okay. So we got our two little legs here. Let me get that in the camera here. Actually, let's uh, do one of those and we'll zoom in a little bit. My new fancy contraption here. So I honestly have no idea about what I'm doing with this yet, but um, yeah, I'd have to look at the instructions again to see. Oh, wait, hold on. What's this? Does this do something? Does that go there? Yeah, I guess it goes like that and then put the legs on. These ball joints are great really give you some flexibility with how you can mold them up. You can magnetize them. So that's pretty neat. If you want to put a magnet on it, you can. I'm guessing... Again, I don't know what I'm doing with this yet. This is my first time looking at that. Oh, I see how that goes. Alright, so that goes back there like that. Alright. I think... Maybe? Looks like it does, right? Or am I losing it? Looks like I have to, I have to clean some of this away, maybe? I'll have to look at the instructions and see again, like, exactly what's up. And then here are your arms. Again, ball joints, so that you have the option to pose them however you want, or if you want to put magnets in them, you can do that. Yeah, guys, this is cool. So listen, this is your, uh, your preview. Of this grizzly here. And I'll leave that video at that. Uh, it's gone on for 22 minutes now. You don't need to keep hearing me talk about it. Frankly, I want to get to playing with these guys here, get them together do something with them that's uh you know that i can actually do a follow-up video on this and say look how cool these guys are so i'm signing off guys hope you enjoyed this uh, unboxing video i hope it gets you hyped to play this game i hope you get into it um and uh, catch you on the flip hey everyone so i i know i was supposed to end the video unfortunately uh i went back i cleaned all the pieces i went to assemble them and then i realized that i'm actually missing um one piece and i got an extra of another so in the box set the uh, the starter set make sure you guys count them before you you know just make sure you got everything this is the light mech uh the coyote and uh, I received one leg and three arms. Uh, <laughs> two, two left arms, one right arm, one left leg, no right leg. Although, well, I guess that's, I'm sorry. I guess that'd be the right leg if it's facing away from you. But if it's facing you, it's missing its right leg. So, yeah. Bit of a problem. Not too happy about it. Um, I mean, this stuff happens. I realize it happens. There's not much that can be done about it. Um, you know, these these sorts of things, they will they will occur. Um, so anyway, still very impressed with the mech. It's look how it's standing by itself. That's balance. You know, I gotta say these mechs are really well balanced. Um, and there's nothing worse than a mech that keeps falling over. Right? I mean, for those of you who ever played with other mech, mech games, um, you know, so I mean, it's it's pretty good how it does that. Um, like I said, I just wish that uh, that I, I could be able to complete the set. Unfortunately, tonight, I, I'm not going to be able to do that. Um, I did want to also show you this mech's big brother. So I'm knocking it over. It's not helping anybody either. Say hello 
to the Grizzly. And uh, you'll notice that I've crewed the Grizzly. Let's see if I can adjust it there so you can kind of see. It's got his little, got his little sidearm there. It's pointing at where he wants his uh, his Grizzly to shoot at. And um, yeah, I, I gotta say, I'm very happy with how it turned out. Uh, I, the only complaint that I could really find here um, in regards to how the mech is, is his butt plate. I'm not kind of thrilled with that. I don't know if it's for balance or what, but not, not thrilled with it. Um, the other issue, however, is there's a gap that I have to fill in. See that gap right there? It's uh, between these two pieces. So I got to fill that in and, you know, real quick too, another good thing you can do, I'm sure many of you modelers know all about this already, but magnetizing the, uh, the bits so that you have some um, variation with with the way that it goes um, anyway I'm very happy with these mechs um, even without the leg I'm still very happy with it I, I can't wait to get the leg so that I can complete it um, and uh, I'll, I'll be posting more videos up um, with the uh, Tesla tank and the uh, the heavy infantry very soon so take care